Hello, and welcome to the day's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lanceman. Thanks so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we'll talk a little to the parents and talk about postpartum depression for dads. I'm here with Chris Rose. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, I think, um, like a lot of people, it never really occurs that fathers may be having the same issues that mothers have. Can we talk a little bit about this? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, one in 10 dads will go and will develop uh, postpartum depression. You know, 50% of dads who uh, whose partner is ex- experiencing uh, postpartum depression will also develop these symptoms, right? And so there's a lot of similarities between the two and it's something that just really goes unknown through medical medical providers it does it does i would imagine that it's even difficult to get the um, assistance the help that a dad needs because again to your point well one it never really occurred to me i'm going to be honest and two if both parents are having this issue of course everybody flocks to the mom. Of course everybody, all the attention, all the you know, resources go to the mom. I hadn't even considered that the dad might be experiencing the same thing. What do they do? There's a lot, of, most of the time dads just go on about their business. They don't mention anything, they suffer in silence. And really that's what we try to do with Postpartum um, International and the support groups that we have is we really try to help dads express their feelings and open up and begin to talk about these uh, emotions that that they're feeling. Um, You know, I myself was diagnosed with uh, postpartum depression, postpartum OCD, uh, postpartum rage and anxiety. And these are all symptoms that I didn't have prior to my daughter being born in 2020. It's amazing to me that, I mean, as you're saying it, it makes complete sense. I mean, it's, it's, it, it totally makes sense. I guess just as a society, we always assume that that pressure that it's felt, that, uh, you know, because you know, again, parenthood happens in, you know, just like that, as soon as the baby's born, it's on. Everything has changed, life has changed. And obviously, when, when a woman says, you know, I'm going through this, these emotions, it makes complete sense. Nobody ever thinks about the dads. What kind of help is there out there for the dads? Well, there's definitely support groups um, and we're really trying to push dads to start advocating for themselves, um, you know, going to therapy, uh, talking through it. You know, uh, there's so much generational uh, stigma between how dads are supposed to act, how we're supposed to be so uh, heroic and, you know, we're supposed to just, you know, we put our shoes on, we go out, we do our work, we come home and, you know, we don't, but that's not how today's dads are, right? We're really starting to find our voice and we're starting to express our emotions and we're trying to be that, uh, I like to say uh, that 100% parent, not 50-50, but 100-100% parent, because you really have to give your all. And I think dads are starting to do that. And you know, this new generation, we're really opening up more. And I think just talking about it gives us that, that foot in the door to help dads and help parents really start to understand and start to um, figure out how to work with the symptoms that you have because they can be very, it can be very serious. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we've heard, you know, stories of of women having to be committed for their postpartum depression. Um, So why not men? You know, why would the symptoms be that far off for a man? Um, Well, one, I'd just like to say congratulations for getting the help that you need. Congratulations for, you know, stepping up to the plate and being that voice for men. Because again, I think sometimes um, they don't even realize what they're feeling, right? They're just like, oh, okay, well, I'm a new dad. I guess this is part of how it goes. But it doesn't have to be that way if they have resources and things and places and people that could assist them in this journey. Yeah, and you know, the people at postpartum.net, they help us find those resources. They're free resources, right? Like every, they're there to help us um, and they're open, you know, they're they're available 24 seven. And so really, you know, I, I always push people, even if you're a new parent and you're maybe you don't develop these symptoms, but just go to the website because it's gonna give you the resources that you you need. And I wish I had known about this before uh, you know, during uh, the pregnancy when my wife was pregnant, I really wish I had known more about this, but you know, we found it late, but th- thankfully we found it. And you know, now we're just, we're going full throttle and helping uh, other parents. 
Well, Chris, I'd like to thank you on behalf of other parents because, again, this is something that many of us don't even consider, and it's so vitally important not only to the health of the family but the health of our men, to the health 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 of the fathers. Um, so, again, that is postpartum.net. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I appreciate your time. Thank All you. right, guys. We can all learn a little bit more, right? Sometimes it's just the things that we don't think about. And then after someone mentions it, we go, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Well, take the opportunity to go to the website, learn what you can learn, learn how you can help the new fathers in your life. And stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back.